Hello, I'm Peter Blackwood. I'm preparing this video for the Uniting Church Icon Schools. And today I am reviewing a book by the Orthodox monk, Father Gabriel Bunge. He lives in Switzerland. Uh, he is uh, known worldwide for his writings on contemporary contemplative prayer. Uh, he's a former Benedictine monk, uh, but he's been living the aromatic life since 1980. His book is about Rublev's Trinity, and that's why his book is called The Rublev Trinity by Gabriel Bunge. Before we say anything about the book, I think it's going to be helpful to get the background story. And the background story is found in this book, particularly in Genesis chapter 18. Let me read you the story. The Lord appeared to Abraham by the oaks of Mamre, as he sat at the entrance of his tent in the heat of the day. He looked up and saw three men standing near him. When he saw them, he ran from the tent entrance to meet them and bowed down to the ground. He said, My Lord, if I find favour with you, do not pass by your servant. Let a little water be brought and wash your feet and rest yourselves under the tree. Let me bring a little bread that you may refresh yourselves, and after that you may pass on. Since you have come to your servant, so they said, do as you have said. And Abram hastened into the tent to Sarah and said, make ready quickly three measures of choice flour, knead it and make cakes. Abram ran to the herd and took a calf, tender and good, and gave it to the servant who hastened to prepare it. Then he took curds and milk and the calf that he had prepared and set it before them. And he stood by them under the tree while they ate. They said to him, Where is your wife Sarah? And he said, There in the tent. Then one said, I will surely return to you in due season, and your wife Sarah shall have a son. And Sarah was listening at the tent entrance behind him. Now Abraham and Sarah were old, advanced in, year, in, in age. It had ceased to be with Sarah after the manner of women. So Sarah laughed to herself, saying, After I have grown old and my husband is old, shall I have pleasure? The Lord said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh and say, Shall I indeed bear a child now that I am old? Is anything too wonderful for the Lord? At the set time, I will return to you in due season, and Sarah shall have a son. But Sarah denied, saying, I did not laugh, for she was afraid. He said, oh yes, you did laugh. Then the men set out from there, and they looked towards Sodom, and Abram went with them to set them on their way. That's the background story to Rublev's Trinity. But there are lots of other stories that are background to this famous icon. When I visited Russia in 2017, I obviously went to uh, many of the uh, uh, museums and galleries and churches, particularly in St. Petersburg uh, and in Moscow, uh, Yaroslavl and other places, and found these familiar icons, all of the three messengers, all with 
those familiar characteristics that we're used to in Rublev's Trinity, but all very different. So let's have a look at this book, the Rublev Trinity. I'm choosing to show the icons, the photos, the plates in this book, rather than to review what the author has said about it. Notice that for the most part, these uh, depictions of the hospitality of Abraham and then sometimes known as the Old Testament uh, Trinity uh, predate Rublev. And then we get to a point in this video where we come to the time of Rublev and look at a few icons of the Trinity that post-date uh, Rublev. I have uh, printed the uh, inscription, the or the description of uh, the uh, plate of the photo uh, and something of its provenance. What I'll choose to do is to comment on what I'm seeing uh, in these uh, icons. So let's look at the first, this uh, souvenir medallion. The three visitors are without wings. They look young. And down the bottom, we can see the calf being prepared for the meal. This uh, old uh, fresco, this uh, catacomb representation with Abraham <laughs> looking a bit grumpy, but greeting the three visitors. And there down beside him is the calf. A mosaic. Again, it's uh, two sections. Uh, Abraham greeting the visitors, then sitting them down for the meal and uh, instructing servants and Sarah in the preparation of the meal. I remember seeing this in uh, Ravenna in uh, 2014. What particularly struck me was the cute little lamb tugging on uh, Abram's uh, coat. But notice that this is a two-part uh, depiction. There's the hospitality. There's Sarah sending Abram out with the, uh, the cooked calf to the three visitors. But then there is the depiction of Abraham about to sacrifice his son Isaac. But the little lamb tugging at his coat saying, it's me, it's me. Again, uh, several uh, bits of the story, the greeting of uh, the three visitors by Abraham and then the... Uh, hospitality, the serving the meal. Notice at this stage uh, we can't see clear signs of wings on the visitors, but we can see the common depiction of angels and archangels, particularly in the headwear and the ribbons around their heads. Oops, my bad. Now that I look more closely, the wings are very obvious. I just couldn't see them in this photo. The wings are more obvious now. <clears throat> and uh, there is Sarah uh, hiding uh, and <laughs> laughing. Across to Venice and San Marco and... Uh, Again, uh, the, the greeting and the meal. And there's Sarah again up in the top, hiding. This is a miniature. And here we start to see something of an understanding of the New Testament in 
this Old Testament, this Hebrew scripture story. Because in the centre figure, the centre angel, the halo has a halo typical of that of Christ because it is a cruciform halo. And there is the calf <laughs> sort of sleeping like a uh, the pet dog at the foot. It is significant to notice that there is a Greek inscription above this image and it says Holy Trinity. And we will notice this same inscription appears a number of times in other icons. Clearly, this story, this image of the hospitality of Abraham was for many centuries a, a version, a depiction of the Godhead as Holy Trinity. Lots going on here. Again, a cruciform halo in the centre figure. So at this early stage in the 13th century, an understanding of the centre figure being uh, the second person of the Trinity. Again, the calf, both alive and well, and being served by Abraham to the three visitors. A fresco in Novgorod. Again, the center angel, not with a cruciform halo, but much larger and a sort of enveloping wings over the other two uh, characters. Again, a centre figure with different uh, wings and both Abraham and Sarah serving at a table. Again, uh, we can see Abraham and Sarah are still present in these, uh, the, this uh, fresco but a cruciform halo on the, on the second figure. Abram and Sarah are still present. They're sort of poking in at the sides between the, the, uh, the three figures. There they are again, poking in between the figures of the, uh, of the three visitors. Here they are, interestingly, Sarah and Abram also have wings. Now, there comes a point in this book that two uh, people are particularly mentioned. Sergius of uh, Radones, I'm sure I've mispronounced that, and also Nikon of Radonets. These are uh, key figures at the time of uh, Rublev, uh, who very likely, it seems, influenced Rublev theologically. And so we're starting to see icons of uh, the uh, hospitality of uh, Sarah and Abraham uh, at the time of or after the time of Rublev. But here uh, it's pretty familiar. Uh, the, what is interesting is that the three main figures are of similar uh, size, uh, there isn't a dominance of the, the one in the middle. Indeed, there's more a circular form that is familiar in Rublev's uh, icon. But Abram and Sarah are still there. And uh, Abram and Sarah 
uh, still here as well. So it's late uh, 14th century, and uh, we can see uh, the the tree and and the it's uh, you know the elaborate building which are familiar in Rublev's uh, icon. But again, we can see the center figure has that cruciform halo. Another little aside, I notice not only in this icon is there a cruciform halo in the center figure, there are cruciform halos on all three of the figures. And in the next icon, again, the three figures are depicted as the same, very similar to Christ-like icons. A lot going on here. This is uh, late. This is certainly after the time of um, uh, of Rublev, and the three visitors are in a straight line. They are kind of well. They are identical. They are copies of one another, and that's very different from Rublev. Each of the figures in Rublev's uh, icon are similar but different. And down the bottom, we've got lots of activity. We've got the uh, the, the calf being slaughtered. And we've got Abram and Sarah serving at the table. And here we have a depiction of the Trinity up above this uh, double portrait of the um, uh, of the two figures. This icon much more closely resembles that of um, Rublev, but again there's that cruciform halo, wanting us to be very clear that it's the second person of the Trinity sitting in the middle. But Abram and Sarah have disappeared, as they have here. The cruciform halo has disappeared. This is supposed to be a direct copy of Rublev's Trinity. We can see the similarities, the same postures. Again, very similar, but there's the cruciform halo again. So there we have a quick look uh, at the photos from uh, the book by uh, Father Gabriel, The Rublev Trinity. Thank you for watching. Please leave uh, a comment and look forward to seeing you back uh, on Icon Diary another time.